Welcome back to this Let's Play of King's Bounty the Legend. Uh, last time we got close to finishing up the Dwarven Lands, and hopefully we can do it today. Um, our last quest, I figured out where to deliver the uh, stuff for the beer. Actually in the overworld, as opposed to in the mine itself. So we'll just drop that off. Have you gathered the Gurus hack? Yes? Great. I didn't expect that you'd be able to deal with all those demons. It's too dangerous down there. I wouldn't have dared to go in there. Now Narad won't have any more problems with his visitors. Bring him this barrel of wonderful beer from me, uh, from me personally. As any apology for the inconvenience, it's from my personal stock. Thank you? Oh, you've really saved me. And how many doors will be grateful to you? You see, there's no way for them to relieve the stress of combat. Except for a tankard of good beer, of course. Alright, thank you. Um, so I believe the... Inn is right here, yes. Oh, uh, let's see. Yes, I've talked to Dallas. Yes, I found out what the problem is, and I've brought you a barrel of excellent beer from Dallas. He is sorry for the barrels of bad beer, which he sent you by mistake. Hmm. Seems like a stretch. Uh, a whole barrel of beer. Well, this is great news. Beer, free beer to everyone, drinks on the house. Oh, and we leveled up. Um, events are mana? I think we've been doing pretty good on mana. I'm going to take go with... Go with uh, defense. Um, that should have been the end of that quest line right now. Um, question is, what did... I don't know what I want to level up right now. I feel like I've got a lot of the things I actually wanted. Rage control wouldn't hurt eventually, but that's far too expensive. Frenzy. During combat, the hero shrews become frenzied and receive an increasing attack bonus. That's That wouldn't hurt. I feel like I don't have a lot in the mind area that I want, even though I have a lot of mind runes. I don't want scouting. I don't want learning or trade. This one, eh. I could get another one of these, I guess. A runic stone. Tolerance, I don't need. Diplomacy, I don't want that either. Yeah, there's not too much more. I mean, there's more stuff I could get here for experience or gold, but I don't feel like I'm struggling in either of those areas. Which means probably eventually here I'm going to get another runic stone, just so I can get 10 might and magic runes. That's pretty nice. Trade in 10, get 20. Pretty good turnaround. question is, what do we want for now, then? could make things like druids and shamans and things cheaper. This will probably get more inquisitors. We could take healer, makes resurrection, healing, bless, all more all more effective, I guess. Hmm. Meditation, eh. Concentration, I wouldn't mind. Hmm. I should just take runic stone and then wait. Or I could just take frenzy now. Actually, I can afford to do both, huh? Let's do that. Sure, let's take frenzy. And then we'll take runic stone and then we will wait for more mind runes. Because I don't think there's going to be anything here we can actually do without more... Oh. Hmm. We actually could boost some of these because some of them are only... Magic, really? Or magic and might, there's no... Hmm... Allows the hero to upgrade his chaos magic spells to level 2. That probably wouldn't hurt us. We could do that. We could also get this, which gives us more mana. What would... Let's look at our spell book real... Real quick. What do we have under chaos that we might... Is there anything we cast a lot? I feel like we don't use chaos a lot, actually. Yeah, I don't know if that's worthwhile. We don't actually use chaos a lot. I actually use a lot of the order spells for damage. And then I like distortion. Because if it... Let's see, this becomes a mass, right? Yeah, mass speed. 
Not mass slow, though, just mass speed. I'm just wondering how many of these become mass. Maybe just that one. It's still not bad, but... Ooh, look at the damage on traps. 750 to 1120. And then there's Geyser, which does damage, too. I almost... Hmm, yeah, maybe it's not worth it to do that, actually. Huh. Shoot, I'm not sure what I'm going to spend these on. Wouldn't mind more concentration, actually. You know what? We're going to... I think we're going to stop and think about this. What's Destroyer? That wouldn't be bad. And that's only 1-5. Could just take more damage. From our Chain Lightning and our Pull X. Hmm. Put a point into that. Could put another point in to make it third plus thirty percent damage. Two and seven. How much does frenzy cost? Six and two. I don't have that currently. I can't do rage control, but I almost can. I wouldn't mind getting this one for more rage, and this one for more mana. If I take this one, I can't do this one. I feel like that extra damage might really help though. An extra. Yeah, let's do that. An extra thirty percent. That's pretty strong. Okay, well that, that worked out good. Um, so looking at our map, I think there's an area underground we haven't been, and there's an area right here we have not been. We're going to attempt to go check both of those out. And then depending on how big they are, we'll either finish it today or finish it uh, next time. Oh, well, I found a giant. <laughs> you wouldn't think a giant could hide, but I, I was wrong. They can hide very well, apparently. Uh, let's move our giant up. Um, who would be a good target to take? Well, actually, Chain Lightning would be a good choice here, probably. It's doing significant damage. Yeah, look at that. Magical Polax is a thousand now, and this does seven, almost probably does a thousand on average, also. Um, I guess just shoot it right down the middle, zap. Nice, nice. Um, who do we want to get rid of, I wonder? We could kill that six. Do we even need to use our special ability? Could nuke down some of the giants, huh? Could potentially kill all the giants there? Wow, let's do that. Nice, flatten a group of giants before they even get a chance to go. Excellent. We could kill them... I feel like the dwarves are probably going to do their job. Ah, let's do that. Let's zap that group. Oh, nice. Got a crit also. Okay, well, so far so good here. They're just nuking this group down. That guy's down to four. Wow. Might have to try to grab those treasure boxes next time. Wow. There's only the giants and a couple of bears left. I'm not even going to bother. I'll just grab some treasure. My range units will destroy them next turn. Uh, did we lose anybody? Dwarves suffer a casualty. Oh, we might as well. Like, that's the thing. Order is pretty good because it's got... It's got damage spells also. I don't really need to go that far into chaos. Um... I guess it doesn't really matter what I do here. Like, they're, they're dead. We can just shoot them. That one giant literally can't do anything. Which means... Uh, let's not kill him just yet. Let's grab my 1,700 gold. Nothing. Nothing to sneeze at. Okay, well that was about as smooth as I could ask for there. Very nice. Especially because I effectively got ambushed. I didn't realize they were there. More gold? That's what I said, though. I feel like I'm strong on... on gold here. I said I don't really feel like I need... The experience might have been better to take early. Ooh, light, light rune. Wow. That's nice. Might rune line around. Who's this guy? Hey, paladin, help us. Demons have come to our village and have started to break and burn everything. We have to leave our houses and all our belongings just to survive. You help us clear the village of demons. We'll pay you. Oh, well, that's all I need to hear. 
ocular village straight along the road to the south. Yeah, can't miss it. Okay, well, we're already going that way. Let's see what else we got here, though. The village is... Oh, there's a giant. we be able to easily handle him, though. I really would like to get the one that gives us more mana regen each turn, though. It's an ability I need to probably focus on. Trying to get... Um, well, I might as well chain lightning again. That's so effective. And now, 30% extra bonus damage. It's really doing damage. Get wreck shop on those giants. I mean, they don't have any ranged units. I might as well wreck shop on the giants, because... Shoot. But those wolves aren't going to do anything. Like, they're really effective early in the game, but late in the game? Not so much. Because their special ability works only against, what is it, level 1s and 2s or something? Like, it's kind of pitiful against the people they're fighting against right now. All these high-level guys, the wolves just can't do anything. Smash these giants. Oh, wow. Got a crit and killed them. Excellent. Even better. I think we've only lost dwarves so far, so this will be good. I can just resurrect some dwarves right at the end, it looks like. Oh, yeah, they're just dead. Okay, well. Um, can you... Let's just go grab some treasure, because we're going to win in a second. This might even kill themselves. So I should have resurrected the dwarves. Won that a little too efficiently there. I didn't... <laughs> Uh, what's this? Not enough leadership. Um... Just leveled up, so that shouldn't be it. Um... Aha! Those items rebelling. The problem is... Um... Hmm. Yeah, that is problematic. Well, I can suppress it. The problem is, is when your units are like this, they won't, they won't fight pretty much. So effectively, I've only got beholders right now to fight, which that doesn't work. There are some leadership flags over here. Let's see if we can grab those. Oh, I thought it was a monster, that dang bunny. Let's see if it fixed part. No, I was going to say if it fixes part of our problem, but it does not. Um, shoot, that's not convenient at all. Um, I really need some soldiers to die is what we need to happen in reality. wonder if we just let some people die? If we go to suppress them now, that's probably a bad idea. I don't know. I don't know if we could suppress them now. I guess we, let's save and see if we can. So once some soldiers die, I'll be able to use them. Or if I suppress it, I'll be able to do it. So, so I should wait till I'm at full mana. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need full mana for it to try this. Once we suppress it, we'll have enough. Well, I was already talking about potentially getting rid of some dwarves. And maybe switching over to human troops before we go to elven lands. So maybe I should do that and try swapping this weapon out with something else just because it's a specifically Dwarven weapon. And well, this this is bad when this does happen. It won't happen that often, but when it does, it's rather problematic. Um, I just noticed too, I've got this staff. 10% to damage from lightning. Hmm. Would lower our attack significantly to lose that plus four to attack, though. Do we have any other weapons? We've got the rapier, but that's specifically against undead. We got this one that would give us plus three. Hmm. I don't really have a great weapon if we're not using dwarves, though, either, because those both give bonuses to dwarves. Oh wait, I'm not going to attack. I was going to go suppress. Right, right. I need to do something to lose some... Lose some, uh... Soldiers. 
So pretty much what happens is all these units are out of our control and we can't use them. And it's not that they shoot randomly or something. A lot of times they just don't do anything. Like, can I even... I can move them up. I think they'll defend themselves, but a lot of times they'll kind of run in circles, which is annoying. Like, until you lose some. You kind of need to lose some. They won't always fire. Like this. They just moved up and then wasted their turn. We may lose quite a bit of guys here because of the fact that they're not gonna... They're not gonna work for us until they lose some people. Once they lose under the number, we can use them. So maybe we'll summon a phoenix? Yeah, that's not bad. Let's summon a phoenix so we can have an extra troop to help us. How many hit points does this thing have? Oh, 7,900. Hmm. Gonna be a bad battle, apparently, for us. I may not be able to win it. I may need to... Because look at that giant didn't do anything. He stepped forward. I may need to... Reload... Uh, luckily we saved. I'm just not sure the best way. Because they will defend themselves, but they'll do that. As you can see, he just moved over, but he didn't actually attack. So it's a good example of what happens. It's just rather annoying. Especially against things like this, because they're tough enough to... Oh, so like, you can see those alchemists right there. Because they just got bopped and lost a bunch of guys, now we have control over them uh, again. So since we have control over them, what do we want to do? You know what? Yeah, Chain Lightning might not be a bad idea. Just because it hits our own guys, maybe we can... Get some of them to wake up. We may win, but we're going to take so many losses, I don't know if it's actually worthwhile. Our phoenix is dead. And unfortunately, the phoenix isn't going to do a lot here. This is a tough battle. It wouldn't be so bad if we had plenty of guys. Um, Almost do black hole. That would be pretty good. How much is 45 rage? Let's wait and do that, I think. Um... I think that hit my own guys, right? Perfect. What we need, like I said, we just gotta lower some of our numbers down. And, Cause, yeah, look at that. He moved over and then stood there. They just won't fight, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. We got our giants back under our control. Like I said, mostly it's annoying. It comes down to it. Oh, wait, I'm waiting for 45. Let's get our 45. But it's a good showcase to show on the... show on here, because... People might be wondering, well, what happens if we uh, don't have enough leadership? This is what happens. It's really annoying. <laughs> you don't really want to be in this situation, which is why I was saying I don't know if I want to keep the item or not. And it's also why it's useful to uh, keep an eye on things like that. I've forgotten we even had that item. Getting a lot of my troops back under my control, but now everybody's scattered everywhere. And we've taken a lot of losses already, so... Ugh. Um... Can I take control of these guys? Make them attack the giants? They'll waste their turn and the... Oh, what? That's weird. I clicked the giants, but they didn't attack them. Well, that's unfortunate. Waste of time, then. Huh, I wonder why that did that, though. Oh. Oops, we have enough rage now. I need to use black hole. We get another turn. Ah, should have done that earlier. I already. 
I already blanked on it. There we go. Everyone get wrecked. Does that affect the gremlins? No. That's good to know. He gets a bonus versus these, so if we can get our cannoneers shooting these things. Good. We should be able to get rid of this one with the giants this turn. Um. Move him up here out of the way. <laughs> Some, I don't know. This is a bad spot to be in. Let's see if we can kill this giant. Oh. Smash that. Good. Nah, it's just it's just ma making for an ugly fight, unfortunately, because of because of how the system works. Um, I guess I should probably come down here and help if I can. Or I guess I could attack these alchemists. Can we get anything full axe? How about that? Let's do that on them. I guess thing, even if we win this, we're gonna be so beat up afterwards. Oh my goodness. We both have 7,600? Yeah. Question is, do I continue to hit towers to try to get a yeah let's try to get rid of them the sooner i get rid of those dang things the better the holders are just done for but I, at least if i can drag those dwarfs away a little bit that'll be nice um i guess let's move him all the way over in this direction Go here. Yeah, that's good. It's drawing those two off a little bit, so that's something. Um, we don't really have much mana. We do have some smashing sword. I won't do a lot though right now. Um, Ismo. Might be nice. Let's summon a gizmo up here. Getting some extra healing and damage wouldn't hurt anything. Every time I summon that, I want to go, it's gizmo duck! Nice, a crit. Those are always nice. Okay, they're gonna turn on us. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, well, I guess that works. I say I really want him to be able to move over. Um, yeah, it'd be best if he could move over and near another one of these down. You know what? I think I have enough rage. Poisonous spit. Why don't we do that? Because that'll do a little damage over time. But you gotta think, this would not have been a bad battle if we had been in control of all of our units. We wouldn't have had all this, like, the positioning and stuff that you end up with after all this mess is just terrible. And we've almost gotten rid of this tower over here, which is nice. Yeah, that stack's gone. It's... This stack that's really the problem is hundred it's a lot of guys. Um I guess there's no reason they should just start working on that, I guess. Start oh we can probably cast start casting some uh Yep, pole axe. I got enough for that now. At least kill a couple. Just slowly wear them down. There's only so much you can do. 
You know what, I probably shouldn't even have my giant waste his time walking up there, because the second he can jump, I think he'll kill that. Have them work on that group. And let's see, yeah, let's just have him start walking down there, so at least when he can jump, it'll do a few extra points of damage. Nice, a crit. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna win this just with a lot of losses, but that'll be fine. You can always get a few more soldiers back before. Uh, maybe I won't even buy more back. I guess it depends on what the next battles are. Because I know we've still got a few more around here. Like I said, there's a few areas we haven't been, and we'll go to those with our remaining soldiers. Should get rid of that. Yes. And then we may switch soldiers, so it doesn't really matter if we lost them just matters in terms of uh, if we can you know beat the last couple of battles or not like like this should I cannoneer this down or kill you let's let's get rid of this door stack it's gonna do a lot of damage if we don't wear it down here it's there's so many of them Thankfully, we have some backup cannoneers. Oh, Gizmo! Hey, we got enough for another full axe. Let's do that. We've got, we got 15 rage. We may be able to use some ability. Let's see here. Rage draining, caught us. Well, smashing sword. That'll do. Yeah, I'll kill 6 to 7. That's nothing. Nothing too bad. There we go. We've almost, almost wiped out that stack. Fine. There we go. got that one down to one. We got that one down to like a thousand hit points, so that'll be great. Maybe we can kill that? Maybe. There we go. Okay. We've done it. Man, that was an ugly fight. On the plus side, you know, I got 1,100 experience for it, too. So you did get a... I mean, I got 42,000 gold, so that's not terrible. I mean, we lost a, t we lost a ton of guys, but... Um, so we look back at this. Now we can use it again. And you can see on their morale. And I think a lot of them have... Um, I don't know what they are off the top of my head, but a lot of them have things that keep their morale high. Like having, like, I, it says in this one it prefers to go into combat alongside dwarves and despises all other races. So I, my guess is, like when I had Inquisitors and Champions, it was ruining our morale, is my guess. I could be wrong, like maybe the Beholders hurt morale? That's like, if we put these Beholders back in, I wonder if it immediately does it? I can't remember. Like, the morale's 50 normal, but, like, after the battle, we'll, like, go down. Let's let's go check, because I think there's somebody right here slightly weaker. Do we have morale? Oh, we do have many. Yeah, let's see how this fight goes. Let's fight this battle and see if our morale goes down or not. So it doesn't really matter our positioning that much, probably, because they're going to teleport, most likely. Yeah. Well, they teleported the beholders there, so that's not that bad. Um, 71? That's a lot of guys in our face. Let's just shoot them. Yeah, there we go. That was a good plan to shoot them before they can do too much damage. And we need to get rid of these stacks, though, because they're just a pain because they're mischance. Mischance really makes it just annoying. Oh, actually. Ah. Perfect. There we go. It only hits enemies. Like, the, have them, the demoness or whatever they are, having the mischance. Ugh, so bad. Hey, some free money? Good. Nice. 
Not missing is always real nice. Let's see if we can kill this sick. Well, it shouldn't. Yeah, the mischance shouldn't. She, uh, the beholder shouldn't be affected. It's only males. These guys will be affected, but the beholder actually should not be. Maybe we can kill them? Oh, nope. Two left, huh? Got enough mana to do a resurrection on somebody, too. Let us look at doing that. Oh, we lost, yeah, we lost a lot of beholders. Let's just resurrect them. Poison bottle you, and that should end this battle. Good. We'll go see how that looks now. We go to hero now. Ah, his morale went up, actually. It's 51 now. So something we did previously armed that. I don't know what it is. So that's something I forget about it. That's something on some of these items you have to keep an eye on. Because this thing, clearly the morale goes down. My guess is when I had a bunch of humans in the army, because I had the Inquisitors, and I had the... Uh, what was it? Ch whatever, the horsemen, the champion ones. And my guess is the... Every battle we were doing with all those human units was not making it not like it, and so the morale goes down, and then you gotta suppress it, which is kind of annoying. Versus the other way around, if you're, uh, if it likes what you're doing. In this case, I'm guessing we have enough Dwarven units fighting? Because I don't remember what any of them are. Maybe somebody knows offhand what boosts the morale. If you guys do, you can let me know in the comments section what makes the morale go up and down. Seems like it's different per item. Uh, could we? I don't think we can chain lightning. I don't think. No, nope, it costs 35. We could pull axe, though. Probably doesn't do very much. It kills 101 of them. Oh, uh, sure. Slice and dice. Um. Wearing down these guys in front of us, I guess. We fell asleep, really. Just throw that over there. Will the jump wake of that guy? I'm guessing it will, huh? Oh, well, I, I don't know. It appears to have woke him, but. Still, he still must have passed his turn in the initiative, and so he's still not going to get a turn, which is nice. Oh yeah, because he had already moved up this round, but the sleep didn't have as much of this, much of a effect as I would like. Oh, we got a lot of rage though. Wow, must have had a lot from last battle. Let's black hole everybody. Because wow, well, that bill is really nice. I could shoot these fish, but that seems like a waste, so I'm not going to do that. That's the thing, our numbers are so low right now, like... I think they're... These guys are all pretty fire resistant, I think, but still get a few kills in. Our guys waste their turns. Your dead fish face. <laughs> um, so let's just shoot them. I can't decide if I I want to keep the dwarves or switch to human units when it comes to the next area. I mean, because I could just switch out the beholders and put a bunch of inquisitors. Which would be a good choice because of their resurrection ability, and we have discounts on a lot of. Well, that might not be a bad idea. 
Um, we have a lot of rage. Let's just do that. That's fine. We can smashing sword you. That'll work. Well, uh, these only affect undead, right? Not demons? Yeah. I don't want to grab this treasure. I'm in Phoenix times three. Hmm. Probably, I feel like that's probably pretty valuable, but I'm not sure how much souls are actually worth. We didn't lose very many soldiers there, though. Not bad. Ooh. Soul draining kills 40%. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Rapid recovery in black holes is nice, too, but I'd why I want soul draining. Being able to kill 40% of a stack, that's... That's huge. So there's a way down right there. And there's the smithy. That must be that guy that was talking... Talking to us. Let's talk to him again. Let's... Oh, no, let's maybe grab these gems. Uh, grab what's up here. Okay, let's go back and talk to that guy and see... Oh, wait. Maybe. See what he has to say about this. Can we return to the village? Yes, I've taken care of it. I thank you on behalf of all our villagers. I'll always be happy to see you in our village. Uh, thank you. You'd better put a guard in your lookout tower. She'll be ready for an invasion beforehand. Hand over all the money. Don't worry about it. Let's just take a, a quick... Oh, maybe... Quick, oh, wait a second, there's treasure. Let's take a quick look downstairs in a second. Demon Slayer. Oh, I don't think I have this one. Wait a second. I don't know what that's under, though. Oh, that's Order also. Man, I like Order spells, yeah. Intense damage to demons. Ooh, that's a good one. Boost it. Oh my goodness. It does. It makes it 33% bonus damage to everybody. Mass. Oh, that's huge. I mean, we need to save up the 25 crystals for it. But that'll be really nice. Because, I mean, we're fighting a lot of demons, and I'm pretty sure we're going to fight more later. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. Definitely. That's a really nice pickup there. Let's go back down here real quick, just so we can see... There's some dwarves down here. Let's look at our... Move out of the way. A giant comes over here. But let's look at our map real quick. Oh. Yeah, this is the area I was looking before, though. There was an area right here. Right outside the castle. Okay, so this is perfect. Cause, so next time... Cause I'm going to stop right here because we're already a little over today. I'm going to stop right here. We'll clear out this area and uh, decide what we want to do with our soldiers and stuff because it'll be about time to go to elven lands um like i said before if you have any thoughts on that should we stick with dorvan or human troops or should we should we keep that dorvan hammer like if you guys have any ideas leave it in the comments section below i'm still not positive what i want to do based on our character like we get a lot of bonuses from casters also and the dwarves, that's one thing they don't have, is they don't really have any casters like humans do. They've got a bunch of groups. So, we'll have to decide, though. But, uh, yeah, leave your comments below. If you uh, enjoyed that, hit that uh, like button. So I'll, uh, my video will get shown to more people and, and grow our community. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.